Hello, BWR family. I am popping in because we are on a mission. We are on a mission to find some fabric at Walmart. I have not been in Walmart in eons. Um, David has been normally going to the store to get things. Um, so yeah, so for his job, he needs masks. They gave him one, but um, they won't be giving out anymore unless he works in a certain department. So, I have to make him some, and I have my helper back there. All right, guys, so we made it in, and so far we have this, <laughs> probably too thick, but it is 100% cotton, so <laughs> we're gonna keep looking and see what else we can find. All right, guys, so we ended up getting fabric. I'll show you what we got. We have this piece for the girls, this for David, these two for David actually. The boys are getting this, which I've purchased this before and I've made a bow tie for Joshua's teacher and his um, self because he loves bow ties. And I got this one for me. I know it's probably going to get dirty, but I don't care. Hey guys, so we made it back home and I am about to cook dinner. Um, we are gonna be having tacos tonight. It's the quickest thing I could do. I want to show you guys that little artwork that they did. Um, Ayana did this one. Shekinah did the stars. Joshua did this one. I forgot what he said the name of it is. Iger and then the Clarion did this Picasso looking thing here. So I'm about to make some tacos and I guess I'll show you all how I make mine. And maybe you like it. Okay. You put y'all up here. Alright y'all, so I'm gonna show you what I put in it. It's getting dark so I can't really see that well. In my tacos, I put onion powder, oregano, garlic, powdered garlic, and I also put diced tomatoes in, but normally I get the roasted one. But I don't have it today, so it is what it is. All right, so I like making mine with chicken as well. Um, we don't eat a lot of beef that much yet sometimes, but for the most part, we don't. Because this is chicken breast, it doesn't have a ton of fat in it, so we're gonna be ham. Ham it up. Typically, I will let the chicken thaw out, but um, not today. Sprinkle some onion powder, oregano, and I like a lot of oregano, garlic powder, and I'm gonna go ahead and add my taco seasoning. And as it's cooking, I'll go ahead and start to break it up. And it's still not completely done. So what I'm gonna do now is take some garlic. Add about two tablespoons or a tablespoon of garlic. And I'm actually gonna add a little bit more of the oregano. Because I just like it. It makes it taste better. All right, and I'm gonna just brown that up a little bit, not burn it. What I'm gonna do too is go ahead and turn my heat down. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take my diced tomatoes, about half the pan, 
get those. And I like to get the ones that's fire roasted with no salt added, but these are just regular with no salt added. I feel like it's enough seasoning in the actual taco meat. And I'll add the rest. All right, so I put a third of a can of water and I'll add that. I'll probably not add all of it. So now I'm cooking my refried beans. Um, <laughs> I just put them in there out the can. Smash these down. So I'm gonna add more garlic, chili powder, cumin, onion powder, and I'm gonna add lemon pepper. Teaspoon of garlic. Onion powder. A little bit of cumin ground. Add a little kick to it. Alright, so I add a little bit of water. Normally I like to add a little bit of like chicken broth or something like that. But I don't have any. Add a little chili powder. Got that. And that's that. Busy. Today we're gonna to be doing the Clarion's hair. It's the Clarion. I want to show you guys something. The last person who did their hair jacked my baby up. Come sit down. Let's show them. So they did the wrong style. Also, when they cut it, they left these long pieces in his hair. So they cut a lot of his hair off. If you look up here, it's way much shorter than it is in certain areas. Certain curls did not get cut. I tend to like the Clarion to have low sides, high on the top, mostly because of his head shape. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right. Alright y'all, so here go the finished product turn, buddy. Let's see what we looking like. Turn around. <laughs> Alright. Alright y'all, so now we got Joshua. AKA the best kid in the film. Oh wow. Hey. I think somebody might disagree. <laughs> hey. Josh! <laughs> So Josh wants a mohawk, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna cut it all the way down. His hair grows extremely fast. Um, right now, it's probably at the one inch mark. So I'm gonna take these two guards off. And put one guard. Alright guys, so we got Joshua's hair done. Turn around, let's see. Turn around, let's see. With his crazy self. Alright. And that's it. Alright. You can see y'all later. Hey guys, so it's the next day and we are about to ride our bikes. We are going to go to the park and ride around. Um, it was a really bad storm yesterday, but it's just super duper duper bright and we all need to um, get some exercise in, especially your girl. 
Yeah, girl. They go, baby. Getting gas. They go to crew. Dude, why you gotta have your tongue out? Ooh. So we gotta figure out what part we going to. And then we'll go from there. day let me fix that and um i did not get to do my mask sewing yet but i'm about to do it right now i'm actually started already but before i do that i just had to come out here and show you guys something i went outside to get the kids so they can take their nap and everything and i was like okay let me just do the once over of the garden and i come look at the potatoes and look what i see they have already really started sprouting look at that that is amazing already think about that there is four inches of dirt especially in these there's four inches of dirt and then from that four inch mark I got six inches of dirt so they're already past the six inches in a week I think it's been about a week um i think this one may have some too i don't want to disturb it too much but these two definitely i see it that is just amazing amazing but yeah so now i'm gonna go back inside and start sewing um our little mask all right all right guys so i finally am at my little makeshift sewing circle okay this is our sewing circle um i've had this lap this laptop oh lord mom i'm tired y'all i've had this sewing machine for eons um probably since i was a teenager so i was always into creativity my mother got it for me yay i got all the templates now and I'll put a link to where I got them. I like this particular one because of the style of it. Um, also, I like that they had different age groups. So they had the three to seven year olds. And then this one is the eight to 12 year olds. So I like that they kind of, you know, thought about the different sizes for the different ages. So what I'm gonna do is Go ahead and start with David's first because I feel like his is more of the priority. Also, what I'm gonna do is leave a link to the video of the person who had these templates. And I'll also link her tutorial because for me, hers is the most you know, easy to understand. Um, she even adds a pocket so you can put a filter in it, but I will not be doing that. Um, I'm just gonna do the two layers you can add the filter if you would like, but we're not going to do that. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and just start sewing.
So what I'm gonna do is finish these up because I have quite a few left and whatever they're doing, I'll show you guys. All right guys, so I have the mask done. I'm gonna show you David's mask. Here it is. I like it because of the detail in the stitch. I love details. Um, and it's very masculine. Like this could obviously be like a suit or something, a suit material. Um, here's the inside, all the rough stitchings on the inside. I put some of these in there just so that he could tighten it up. And I'll show you what it looks like on me. All right, so this is what it looks like on me. David likes it. So. I guess I will close the vlog out like this. If no one else tells you, you hear it from me. You're valuable, you have worth, and you're a rarity. Peace.